Hello and all, it is I, Lunatic. Welcome to a new video that isn't internet discoveries. Can you believe it? I know I can't. Since the dawn of time, mankind has been proverbially ejaculating to the thought of one thing. That's being first to claim something. Yep, there was nothing better that mankind wanted, because let's be honest, there is nothing better that we want. If we can take it, we'll have it. I mean, that, why else were colonies and empires so lucrative? It's so we could come in first, baby! However, there was one thing that humans couldn't truly claim. JPEGs, GIFs, and MP4s. But that all changed when the Crypto Nation attacked. In comes the age of NFTs. A way for all crypto-addicted troglodytes to start building their digital empire. Do I, do I jerk off? Yes! The untouched power of the JPEG, GIF, and MP4 was too much for the crypto bros to handle, so they had to whip their micro penises onto the table and claim them for themselves. All through Beep, <coughs> who auctioned off all of his malformed political pieces for the side splittingly hilarious sum of $69 million. Yes. Can you believe it? He fucked JPEGs harder than a free-use public flashlight found in some back alley brothel. You you gonna suck this guy good? Birthing the idea of the NFT in the crypto echo chamber. Suddenly, you heard geriatrics fresh out the bingo hall. Bastard. When kids one vape puff away from having worse lungs than Arthur Morgan. <laughs> to celebrities you were sure had died, but somehow hadn't buying and promoting the ideas of NFTs. It's such a pathetically goofy concept that seemingly spread quicker than the plague. From the aforementioned Beeple collection every days, collaging all of his blender pieces into one, something million dollar homepage would shamelessly steal, to a video of Kate Moss just sleeping? It's basically a glorified ASMR roleplay video, right? But unlike the type of shit you'd find on YouTube or Pornhub for free, this cost 5.1699 Ethereum, or in layman's money, $16,000. 16 grand spent on a video of a woman sleeping and snoring into the camera. It's the type of shit you'd find on Twitter, one of those simp desperation posts with a screenshot of their OnlyFans payment plan. NFTs have been mocked and ridiculed all over the internet, and that certainly won't stop here. I've talked a lot about NFTs already, but what truly is an NFT? Well, <laughs> NFTs by definition are non-fungible tokens. From my understanding, the tokens are online receipts for pieces of media online. So that means that funny meme you made, it's officially yours until you mint it and sell it. That's when the receipt of ownership will be passed on to the person that just bought it. Think of it as going shopping at the supermarket and picking up, I don't know, Pringles, sponges, latex gloves, and, and getting the receipt for that. Proving that it's officially yours so you're not stopped at the exit by a security guard. Except unlike real world receipts, NFTs are completely null and void. Because the hyperlinks that act as the receipts for the stuff you just bought can fucking die later on in the future. So they are completely null and void. Yes, receipts are basically null and void, but at least you can return the stuff that you just bought by showing them the receipt. NFTs basically mean that you own the hyperlink which acts as the receipt to whatever you just bought. Because we're not Neanderthals anymore, we know how to screenshot, screen record, or right click and save as. But before we get on to the main NFT examples, a message from our sponsor, me. Take it away, promo me. Hello, and welcome to my first and possibly only promotion. And that's for myself, I know, very self-centered thing to do, but please hear me out. Now ever since I started this channel, I thought about one thing, and that's connecting with all of you who got me to this point. And where better than our very own Discord server? Yes! The Discord server link down below. And I will try and convince you why this Discord server is not only the best, but it is the only Discord the server only. that you should join. And hopefully I'll be able to do that during this short promotion. 
the first thing we have on our Discord server that I don't think many other servers can claim they have is THE Post Malone. Yes, THE Post Malone is a member of the Loon Core Discord server. It's impressive stuff, right? Can you believe it? I can't. On top of that, as soon as you join the Loon Core Discord server, I can guarantee that you will instantly get laid. Yes! You will get laid as soon as you join the server! Can you believe it? It's wacky! Plus, it has got the one and only monkey gaming in the server! G give, it, give a round of applause! <laughs> and, of course, it serves as a way for us to connect on a more... Maybe not any to that. It serves for us to connect more direct than through a YouTube video. So why aren't you joined? <sighs> and of course, what's a good server without good bots? So what are you waiting for? Fucking join! Press the link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Go on. Press the link! Press the link. Press the fucking link! <laughs> Looncord. The only good Discord server. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen Lazy Lions, Bored Apes, and the very earliest Crypto Punks, serving as the three figureheads of the NFT movement like it's fucking Yakuza oh, oh. Zero. Baby's first pixel art and the two escaped animals from the zoo inspired other hollow-headed, greasy-skinned crypto bros to make their own NFTs inspired by these three. There are a myriad of bored and lazy animal-inspired NFTs out there, all with the same disgusting style. I'm going to list a few off now, so please try not to get bored or just merge them into one, because, yeah, after a while, they do seem to resemble one another. There's Gutter Dog, Burly Bears, The Doge Pound, Gutter Cats, Trendy Tigers, Funky Otters, and so on and so forth. I, I could go on for fucking ages. You know what it's like? It's like a Newgrounds dress-up game, but it's behind a paywall that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars at the minimum. That's not even mentioning the other scam-worthy or scummy NFTs that are out there, such as minting whole YouTube channels without consent of the creators, such as Kitty0706, for example. There are NFTs that disrespect and deface the legacy of Etika with crudely drawn and fucking downright disrespectful crypto punk NFTs, as well as George Floyd NFTs in a similar vein, and Technoblade Cancer NFT, there's a Jesus NFT, there's a white square bracket on a black background, I kid you not, it sold for $15,000. What the fuck is your money going to? There's Michael Jackson as a pixelated cock, an MS Paint drawing of a monkey that looks like a child had a stroke doing it. A Minecraft skin of some fucking smurf of some kind, I don't know, it looks like a smurf, it's blue. A traced over promo shot for the film Shark Tale with clip art accessories. That's what sells it for me. If it didn't have the clip art accessories, I wouldn't have bought it. There's a whole crusty ass JPEG of a photo of a bottle of water on somebody's desk. And last but not least, there's some pixel puke. I mean, seriously, it looks like a fucking Cruelty Squad texture. This is one of the biggest and most mainstream money laundering schemes out there that the police don't seem to care about. I mean, I'm sure Walter White wouldn't have to invest in a fucking car wash if he just bought a CryptoPunk NFT. Also, speaking of Breaking Bad, Jesse Pinkman himself, Aaron Paul, boasted that he bought some Neverhood Wallace and Gromit reject. Welcome to the family, son. And that's pretty much what spurred me on to making this video. 
If I hadn't have seen that, I wouldn't have made this video. It doesn't stop with him though, Serge Tankian, the lead singer of System of a Down, he's a very proudly outspoken advocate for NFTs, going as far as to open a fucking NFT exhibition. What are you exhibiting? Fucking links to a JPEG. What, what, are, what are you exhibiting? You went from crying when angels deserve to die to when his NFTs got screenshotted online. I'm, that was a shit joke, but you get my point. I really hope you do. Hope you can see past the fucking shitty doo-doo smear of a joke that was. And of course there is Eminem. How could you forget Eminem when he's not rapping about an awfully hot coffee pot? He is buying NFTs. But there are other celebrities that think it's a joke in the case of Keanu Reeves. Fucking laughing at the idea. They made uh, NFTs for the new movie, and there were like 100,000 of them, and the site broke like in the first few hours because there were over 300,000 people in the queue trying to buy these NFTs for $50. Um, and so like when you think about the concept of digital scarcity and things that are, you know, they can't be copied. That are easily reproduced. <laughs> well, but they're not the same, right? It's not a fake version of you. And I'm gonna say Richard Kahn he would have been on this fucking list had he not pulled out. His pull-out game is strong. Countless other celebrities have bought and invested in NFTs. Too many to list in this video without it being the same length of the Snyder Cut. But for a few examples, Jimmy Fallon, the one good Jimmy I thought, ended up being a massive fan and investor in NFTs, more specifically Bored Apes. Promoting and flaunting it on Twitter like it's some fucking impressive cock image. And also on the episode of Paris Hilton that he did. This is your, this That's is your mine. ape. Are yeah. we debuting? It's really cool. The hat, the shades. And what, but... how did you pick? Because you can pick your, your, your ape. Yes, I was going through a lot of them and I was like, I want something that like kind of reminds me of me. But I, I, this one, it's, it does. I think we, we made like another version. Takes the hat off and blonde hair comes out. Uh, uh, here, my, this is my ape. Yours. yours is so cool. I love the red heart sunglasses. I love the captain hat. So I'm like, yeah, that kind of, and I like the blue. Sitting there shilling for their bored apes as the audience members get their life drained out of them as they hear more about this Ponzi scheme dribble, occasionally clapping when they do a funny fucking bit or whatever. That's not to mention the online personalities starting their own NFTs, Nerd City, Stone Toss, as much as I fucking hate the guy. There's also selling your previous works as NFTs, Nyan Cat, fucking Charlie Bit My Finger, the Minecraft fan-made trailer from about 12 years ago, it's really fucking sad, man. Of course, as I said, there's Aaron Paul, Kate Moss, Paris Hilton, the entirety of the Phage crew, but there are also the companies that shamelessly shill for NFTs, thinking they're the future. Ubisoft basically patronized everyone like a fucking Reddit intellectual. In an interview with Finder, Nicholas Pouard, Vice President of Ubisoft's Strategic Innovations Lab, what a fucking mouthful, ended up saying, We know it's not an easy concept to grasp, continuing with, it's something that will be more easily understood by our players. We will keep releasing features and services around the first initiative, and our belief is that piece by piece, the puzzle will be revealed and understood by our players. That's some real Sigma fart-sniffing joker thinking right there. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if- I don't even know if I want to mention this company, because it- uh, I mean, it's just going the way of the dodo. Atari, for their 50th anniversary, they're making NFT loot boxes, fucking- that- that's why I'm not gonna be that- that too in-depth with them, because- that, like I said, they go in the way of the dodo. And the latest offender for getting into the NFT movement, YouTube itself, with CEO Susan Wojcicki saying in a letter to us creators, We're always focused on expanding the YouTube ecosystem to help creators capitalize on emerging technologies, including things like NFTs, 
while continuing to strengthen and enhance the experiences creators and fans have on YouTube. You know, it's a tiny percentage of creators that capitalize on emerging technologies. I mean, not everyone's a Marquez Brownlee or Linus Tech Tips, or just basically a YouTube tech channel. And even then, I don't think any of those like NFTs. Unless you're Gary V. You're way fucking better spending 50 hours doing your own homework on Twitter, YouTube, and Discord on NFTs than any fucking thing going on in college. Yeah? This one really affected me detrimentally. Fucking heart torn into two. As YouTube is, I suppose, the one place I call home for when it comes to video making and hobbying. It's shitty to see how far YouTube has fallen and how far it continues to go to shit. I will end by saying, however, in the case, the very low case that this video does go viral, don't buy NFTs. NFTs are the biggest scam going and people are starting to realize and take advantage of that. So if you are investing in NFTs or are thinking of investing in NFTs, do a Richard Kahn. Rethink your decisions. Thank you all for watching this presumably chunky video. No idea. Um... Yeah, hopefully I'll get more out this year than I did last year, so uh, thank you all and farewell.